Cancer-Related Peripheral Neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy is a condition caused by irritation or damage to certain nerves in your body. This damage may lead to pain or discomfort. Different health conditions, including cancer or cancer treatment, can cause this problem. The nerves in your body are long and wire-like. They run throughout the body and carry information from one area of your body to another. Peripheral neuropathy involves the nerves located outside of your brain and spinal cord, called peripheral nerves. In most cases, the nerves affected are the ones that are far away from your brain, such as your fingers, hands, toes, or feet. In some people, peripheral neuropathy can also affect their arms, legs, or other parts of their body. There are different types of peripheral nerves, sensory, motor, and autonomic. Sensory nerves help you feel pain, touch, temperature, position, and vibration. Sensory nerves are the most common nerves affected by peripheral neuropathy. Motor and autonomic nerves are affected less often by this condition. Motor nerves help you move and maintain muscle tone. Autonomic nerves help control the function of some of your body's organs, such as your bladder or bowel. If you have peripheral neuropathy, your symptoms may be acute, which means they start and stop within a short period of time. Or your symptoms may be chronic, which means they last a long time and may not go away. Some people who develop cancer-related peripheral neuropathy find these symptoms slowly develop while they get chemotherapy or other anti-cancer treatments. Other people may not have problems with neuropathy until after their cancer therapy has ended. If you have cancer, you may develop peripheral neuropathy as a result of the treatments used for your cancer or from the cancer itself. Cancer treatment, such as chemotherapy or other anti-cancer medicine, is a common cause of peripheral neuropathy. Your healthcare team will talk with you about possible side effects from the medicine ordered for your care. Radiation therapy may also cause this condition due to nerve injury or scarring. It may take years for symptoms to appear after radiation treatment has ended. In some cases, surgery on a lung, breast, or an amputation may also cause nerve damage, which could lead to peripheral neuropathy. At times, it is not the cancer treatment, but the cancer itself that may cause this type of neuropathy. For example, a tumor may press on a nerve and cause the nerve to become damaged. Certain types of cancer can also release substances in your body that may cause your nerves to become irritated. The symptoms of peripheral neuropathy can be different for each person. Symptoms will depend on the type and number of nerves involved. The most common symptoms may include pain in your arms, legs, fingers, or toes that may come and go or stay all the time. Some people describe this pain as a cold, prickly, pinching, or burning feeling. 
Others say it feels like a stabbing pain. Other symptoms may include numbness, loss of feeling, or tingling, heaviness, or weakness. Peripheral neuropathy can make it hard to use your fingers for activities such as buttoning a shirt or tying your shoes. Less common symptoms of peripheral neuropathy may include sensitivity to hot or cold temperatures, discomfort in your hands or feet when you touch something, even if the object you touch is not usually painful, muscle cramps, or loss of being able to tell where your hands or feet are when you are moving, changes in balance or movement, which can make it hard for you to lift your feet high enough to walk safely. In some cases, symptoms may include diarrhea, constipation, or problems passing urine, dizziness, or changes in blood pressure when you change position, such as standing after lying down, are also possible, but less common. It is important to call your doctor, nurse practitioner, or physician assistant if you notice any peripheral neuropathy symptoms. Do not take any over-the-counter medicine to treat these problems on your own. Your healthcare team will talk with you about the best treatment for you based on your symptoms and any other health problems. Your current cancer treatment will be checked to see if changes can be made to help you feel better. These changes may include lowering a medicine dose, changing how often you get your cancer treatment, or taking a break from treatment. Benefits and risks of these treatment changes will be explained to you. If you have pain from your cancer-related peripheral neuropathy, medicine or other treatments may be ordered to help manage your discomfort. If your pain is not easy to control, you may need to meet with a pain specialist. A pain or palliative care specialist is a doctor who is trained in pain and symptom management and will help you be as comfortable as possible. Peripheral neuropathy treatments may also include diet changes and dietary supplements, massage, acupuncture, or relaxation techniques such as meditation or guided imagery. Loss of feeling or numbness may cause a sore or open area to form on your skin. If a sore develops, it will be treated to prevent an infection. Physical and occupational therapy can also help you manage your peripheral neuropathy symptoms. Physical therapists can provide exercises and activities to help with walking, balance, coordination, and pain. These treatments lower your risk of falls and help prevent injuries. Occupational therapists can work with you on your fine motor skills. They can show you easier ways to do daily activities that may have become more difficult, such as how to use special equipment to help put on clothes. If you have cancer-related peripheral neuropathy, here are some things you can do to help feel your best. Take medicine as ordered to treat your symptoms. Call if you have any side effects or problems taking the medicine as prescribed. Go to all medical appointments with your health care team, such as your doctor, nurse practitioner, 
physical therapist, or occupational therapist. Be careful with hot or cold temperatures. Do not wear clothes or shoes that rub or are tight. They may make your symptoms worse. Do not drink alcohol. Follow the diet recommended by your health care team. This can be very helpful, especially if you have problems with constipation or diarrhea. Talk to your health care team about treatments that may have been suggested by others so they can help you decide if these treatments would be helpful or harmful. Talk about your feelings or problems in dealing with peripheral neuropathy. Reach out to those who provide you with support and ask for help when needed. You may find a cancer support group to be helpful. Support groups provide a place to share common concerns with others going through the same experience. Give yourself more time to do activities. You may have to move slower than you did before you had peripheral neuropathy to prevent falls or injury. Here are some safety tips that may lower your chance of injury. Talk to your healthcare team about what you can do to prevent falls. For example, make sure your walkways are well lit and you have a clear view of where you are going to step. Remove clutter, loose rugs, torn carpet, or cords that may cause you to trip. Set your water temperature at 110 degrees Fahrenheit or lower to keep from getting burned. A bar of soap may be hard to hold if you have numbness in your hands. If you have this problem, try using liquid soap, soap on a rope, or a wash mitt. Be careful when you trim your nails to keep from cutting yourself. You may find it helpful to have a foot doctor, called a podiatrist, care for your feet and toenails. When working in the kitchen, be careful to protect your fingers from cuts or burns. Use caution when doing yard work, such as mowing, using electric trimmers, or snow blowers. If possible, ask someone else to do these jobs for you. Make sure you can feel the steering wheel, gas and brake pedals to drive safely. It is also important to protect your feet from injury by wearing shoes that fit well. Choose shoes that have closed toes and closed heels. Wear clean white socks made of natural fibers such as cotton, silk, or wool. Use a hand mirror to look carefully at the top and bottom of your feet when you are sitting down. It will help you see blisters, sores, cuts, or splinters in your feet that you may not be able to feel due to your peripheral neuropathy. If you spend a lot of time sitting or lying down, it is important to know that your weight can put pressure on your skin in the areas of your body that are bony. Have a caregiver check your skin to make sure you have no red or purple areas, sores or blisters developing. It is important to change positions often to prevent these problems. It is important to tell your health care team how you are feeling. There may be times when you need to call the doctor or other members of your health care team if something changes. Call if your symptoms become worse or if you have new symptoms. Let your health care team know if certain activities have become harder for you to do 
so they can help you manage your peripheral neuropathy. Call if you find burns, sores, blisters, or cuts on your body that seem infected or will not heal. Signs of infection may include redness, swelling, drainage, and in some cases, a fever. Call your healthcare team if you have fallen or have injuries that need medical care. We hope this information has helped you to better understand cancer-related peripheral neuropathy. Write down any questions you might have for your healthcare team and bring them with you to each appointment. We are honored to care for you during your cancer treatment. Thank you for choosing the James.